Welcome back and thanks for staying with us. Now we have some very important breaking news coming in from the state of Karnataka and uh, it is against the uh, uh, Agriculture Minister of Karnataka and uh, Chaluvara Swami. Now a letter has been sent by the Governor's Office to Karnataka government to investigate the corruption allegations against uh, Agriculture Minister N. Chaluvaraya Swami. So this is the major uh, input that we have received as far as the Governor's Office and Karnataka government is concerned as a letter has been sent by the Governor's Office to the uh, government of Karnataka to sort of investigate the corruption allegations that have been levelled against the Agriculture Minister N. Chaluvaraya Swami and this is what we are learning in this particular case. We We'll get more details on uh, that war over the corruption allega uh, allegations against the Agriculture Minister of the uh, of Karnataka. But right now, what we are understanding is that a letter has been sent by the Governor's Office to Karnataka government to sort of investigate the corruption allegations that have been levelled against the Agriculture Minister and uh, Chalu Varaya Swami. And we'll receive more details about the letter and what exactly has been mentioned in that letter as well. But right now, what we know about uh, that letter is that uh, a Governor sort of of, uh, told Karnataka government to investigate the corruption allegations that have been levelled against Agriculture Minister N. Chaluvaraya Swami. I have CNN News 18's Akshara joining me on the phone line for, uh, for more details on this particular case. Akshara, could you give us more details about what exactly is mentioned in that letter that has been sent out from Governor's office to Karnataka government? Uh, well, you see, at first, the seven directors of the Agricultural Department have written to the governor that they are, uh, the uh, agricultural minister allegedly demanded 68 lakhs of bribe from them uh, in order to get the work done. So that was the allegation by the directors of the agricultural department uh, which was returned to the governor. And following this letter written to the governor, the governor's secretary now has returned to the government to look into the matter uh, that these are corruption allegations against the agriculture minister. So right now the governor's uh, secretary has returned to the government, the uh, chief sec uh, secretary of the Karnataka government uh, to check if such allegations are true against the agricultural minister and if it's true uh, to take the necessary action uh, to put the into such corrupt practices or also take action against the uh, minister if it uh, holds true. And these uh, agricultural officers who have returned to the governor have also claimed that the, the agricultural minister has been demanding 6 to 8 lakh of bribe from them and they have further threatened that they will end their life if no necessary action is taken uh, to put an end to such practices. And we'll have to wait and watch what the reaction by the government will be, whether to go ahead and take necessary reaction or probe into the matter against the corruption allegations against your own minister. Remember, uh, this holds true, this will be a big, uh, become a major embarrassment for the Congress government itself because in the run up to the elections, uh, the Congress government campaigned and also uh, fought against the 40% allegations, commission charges against the previous BJP government. And if, uh, after fighting such corruption allegations and making such allegations of 40% commission against the previous BJP government, if their ministers are uh, you know, uh, honestly indulging in such corruption practices, it will be a major embarrassment for the Congress government. We'll have to wait and watch what the government will uh, take action against this particular matter of corruption allegations against the own minister, whether they'll initiate a probe into the matter or look into it. We'll have to wait and watch what the uh, next step by the government will be. Well, Akshara, just for a better understanding, could you please uh, give us more details about the allegations that we are talking about, uh, which have been levelled against the Agriculture Minister Ayah Chaluvara Swami? Uh, well, you see, uh, the directors, uh, the assistant directors of the Agricultural uh, Department of various Taluks, be it Mandya, Manwali, Shriranga Patana, Madhur, and uh, uh, you know, Krishna Raj Pete of different Taluks, these are the assistant uh, directors of Agricultural Department have levelled corruption charges against uh, Chalvaraya Swami. In their letter, they have stated that uh, Agricultural Minister Chalvaraya Swami has been demanding uh, you know, uh, amount of 6 to 8 lakhs as bribe from these uh, department ministers. And they have further stated that they are unable to pay such a bribe amount. And it, first of all, it is very wrong of the minister to demand such uh, amount of bribe from their own uh, department officials. And they have demanded, uh, they demanded the government to put an end to such practices to take a necessary action against the minister and such practice. And they also threatened that they will end their life, not just their lives, but of their family members as well, if such practices are not put to an end. So right now, after this letter, the government has returned to the government seeking an answer from this uh, to initiate a probe into this matter if possible against such practice. Well, Akshara, thank you so much for bringing in all those crucial details. We'll keep coming back to you for more updates on the same story. But right